friends, I am here to do, I know, a very late in the season spring TBR. So I've got another massive chunk. As usual, I've got a lot of carryovers. <laughs> I'm currently doing a reading vlog where I'm hoping to kind of sink my teeth into some of these long-standing carryovers just so I can get them off my TBR because now it's getting to the point where I either feel like I don't really want to read them or I feel so intimidated because I keep putting them down. I'm like, well, why am I putting it down? And it's then even like a negative kind of connotation in my mind to make me kind of fear the book. I don't know, you know, the psyche is a strange and wonderful thing, but sometimes it works against you. So. I'm just going to whiz through some of the books that I've been talking about for quite some time without actually knowing much about them because I've yet to read them. Let's get started. We have The Colour Purple by Alice Walker. Yes, I know. I've been saying that a while. We have The Conference of the Birds by Miss Peregrine by Ransom Briggs is what I meant to say, <laughs> which is the fourth book in the Miss Peregrine series. The fifth and final book is out now. And I need to read this so that I can read that one and know how everything concludes and wraps up. And I hope it's epic. We have The Eve Illusion by Giovanna and Tom Fletcher. I was going to be reading this as a buddy read with my friend, but she has since moved and a lot of her books, or all of her books, are still at her parents. Or some things are in boxes. She says, go ahead without me. Take one for the team. It's fine. Um, so I'm probably going to read this without her. So it's my... Um, this is the sequel to The Eve of Man, which is like a sci-fi kind of dystopia series by Giovanna, who is an author and YouTuber, and Tom Fletcher, who is a member of McFly and McBusted, um, a YouTuber now and also an author. <laughs> so yes, there's that one. We've got Children of Blood and Bone by Tommy Adeyemi. Need I say more? I know. I'm disappointed I've not got to that one too. And as for some new books from my actual proper spring TBR with new books that are not just carryovers, we have Domain by James Herbert. This is the third book, and in my eyes, the final book to the Rats series. Um, I read the Rats a good few years ago, and then I think the end of December, kind of around that time, or might have been January, I picked up the sequel after many years fell in love, adored it, and picked up Domain. I think the only reason I didn't get to this in March as I kind of thought I'd really finish it off at the like beginning of the month, uh, beginning of the year rather, which I guess April still counts as beginning of the year, but anyway, uh, for the first quarter at least, I think the thing that threw me off was how chunky it is in comparison to the other two books, and I was like, whoa, Nelly, okay, uh, I need to dedicate some time to this. I'm hoping it reads quick, well, easy and fun like how the other ones read um, and that the size doesn't determine like a slow chunky read if you know what I mean. Uh, the Rats, I've spoken about it a lot already in recent times so let's just, should we get to the next book? I think so. Next up is Ain't I a Woman by Bell Hooks and this is a non-fiction about black women and feminism. I've mentioned before that when I read um, why, I Don't, why I No Longer Talk to White People About Race by Renée Jolot, I really enjoyed the section on feminism and um, I wanted to know more about that, you know, within the black perspective. Um, yeah, so I got this book and I will hopefully enjoy this. Then I have A Tangle of Spells, which is a newer book to my collection. This is by Michelle Harrison. I saw it, got excited because I didn't even realise it was coming out, and I bought it in like Sainsbury's when I was probably there for shopping, I don't know. Um, this is the third book in the A Pinch of Magic adventure, which I have thoroughly been enjoying. Um, it's a series of middle grade books uh, following three sisters who are, they get told by their granny that they are actually kind of cursed and they're stuck on this island if they leave. Something bad will probably happen to them um, and so they go on this adventure in the first book to figure out why they're cursed, who cursed them, the story of it, how to possibly unravel the curse and yeah there's a, there's a lot of stuff that happens, it's so much fun. Um, so yeah this is the third book and I'm excited for this adventure. And the second to last book I want to pick up is Jacqueline Woodson's Red at the Bone. I actually don't know an awful lot about what this is about. Um, hmm, let's see. I've been wanting to read a little bit more Jacqueline Woodson since I read um, oh, what's it called? If You Come Softly and Behind You, which I really liked those two books and I you know, want to read more of her newer works. I believe this is, yeah, I'm pretty sure this is a new one, January 2020, and it's signed by the author exciting um this looks like it's a little bit of historical fiction 
Ah, there's a lot going on. So yeah, I'll probably, just to get situated in the time zone and where we're at, when I pick this up, I'll read it. But right now, I don't really wanna know much about it. So yeah, if you wanna find out, look it up. Um, and the last book I'm reading is actually kind of like a buddy read, but it's a book club read. So I follow Book of Sins on Instagram. And this is the first time I'll be taking part in her book club book pick. Um, I don't know if I'll actually, sign in to discuss i'm not sure yet i don't really know how that works um but i've signed up to a newsletter so hopefully i should get some information about that soon um and the book for april is aftershocks by nadia i want to say owasu i can't remember i feel that that was her name i'm trying to picture it in my mind um i didn't write the author's names in this stupidly enough i don't know and it's funny because i recently got approved that at the beginning of the year i think uh through netgalley so I've been wanting to read that one and it's from what I remember it's a non-fiction about her life again growing up black I believe um, and just her story so I don't know much more than that but I'm looking forward to giving it a read and for that one we can just pick it up anytime throughout the um, the month as long as you read it I guess I don't know um, I'm also doing another challenge oh yeah I've written it here that's why I thought I saw it <laughs> it's on the other side of the page Nadia also I might be pronouncing that wrong. Um, the other challenge that I'm hoping to do is Spring Into Horror, which is a seasons of reading kind of readathon thing, and it's from the 1st to the 30th of April. And um, basically, that one seems super chilled as well. Basically, read at least one creepy, spooky book. It can be a thriller, it can be a straight up horror, it can be like crime, I guess, it can be gothic. Um, and I'm hoping Domain um, by James Herbert counts as that. If I just get that one done, then I've participated and I'm happy I'm kind of broadening the kind of challenges that I'm doing and stuff especially when you you get into the mindset of oh, I can only read scary books during October and although it's fun to kind of theme your TBR around that and spoopy season you don't just box yourself into that one time do you know what I mean so I'm getting into a lot of horror in terms of films so I want to enjoy it all year round um but yeah hopefully read Domain for that um, possibly another book we shall see so that is my reading plans for spring and April in specific let me know what you're hoping to read and I shall speak to you in another video soon bye